Died. Can you trust him long term to be part of your squad just because of his unfortunate uh, injury record? And also, from your point of view, can he play anywhere across the front, so centre forward, number ten, sort of wide positions as well? Oh, that last question. I think he can, but for me, he's the best as um, as a centre forward. But I think he can play more positions. Yeah, he can play as a ten, can play in a wide positions as well. Yeah. And his fitness and long term, can yeah. you sort of, you know, as a, a sort of proper member of your squad next season? Look, it's difficult um, to to say because the 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 history. And shows different, but uh, I I want him to be because I think he's uh, he's a great great player, huh? and he has definitely the qualities to play a top football. And when he is fit, uh, our team play better. Will he be here next season? Then definitely, from your point of view, Marshall. Or from my point of view, yeah. Uh, Tony Marshall. Hi, Eric. Um, with Harry coming back into the team, presumably he'll be captain at the weekend. How's the dynamic between him and Bruno been this season in terms of the captaincy and, and who's speaking to the players and, and the leadership front of it? And would, that, would you be happy with that continuing next season, having almost two captains and, and a club captain who might start only, say, 25 30% of the games? Is, is that OK, do you think, if they worked it out this season in terms of who does what? Look, a team needs more leaders. Uh, you need a group of leaders, and uh, those are two. Uh, but we have more, also Rafa Varane, also Casimiro, also, also David Gea. I think also uh, Licha Martinez developed really well in that uh, perspective. So we, we have more, more. and uh, they, they deal with it to, in togetherness. Uh, so one is uh, wearing the band, and now we, we accept it the way it is. Um, so we, they respect each other, and they do it in togetherness. And I think it works out till so, so far. Um, OK, last two, uh, Simon and Ken. Hey, Eric, um, we've seen in recent weeks how when you lose key players, Casemiro, Eriksen, Rashford, now Varane and, and Martinez, the impact, the negative impact it can and can have on the team. Um, it goes to show that maybe you need to strengthen the team in the summer, but how difficult is that when you don't know whose hands the club is going to be in? Do you need a plan A, plan B, a plan C? Um, you, you always need, but I think all clubs uh, um, de has to deal with key players missing, but then other players are coming in, and um, yeah, we uh, of course you want always to play your best, and especially when you go to the final stage. But uh, when they are not available, others have to do it, and I think we prove uh, when they are not there. So. Last week we were discussing hey, who has to score the goals. Uh, Marcel Sabitzer scored two yesterday. Uh, we, we talked a lot about Casemiro. Can the team play without Casemiro? Uh, we proved against Brentford and against Everton. And we can also play without Casemiro and, and win uh, difficult and important games. So, um, yeah, you, we have to deal with it. And we will do. And that is now also the case when players dropping out. Others have to take over and take the responsibility. But is, is the plan going forward complicated by what's happening off the pitch? Yeah, it's, <laughs> you won't always have to be a, a full squad uh, where you can pick, and then you then it's more easy because then you can pick a perspective of load, a perspective of tactics, and you, you pick the team. And when players are dropping out, yeah, uh, sometimes you have to make compromises. And what you, yeah, or who you want to avoid. Okay. Um, Eric, we, we have a saying in this country which is called knocking heads together um, <laughs> to get people to come to you know, one direction. And in the 50 games you've been in charge, you've done a lot of that. But last night we saw an evidence of perhaps where you need to do it again. Where do you think the team are in terms of your idea of the development to become winners of whatever this season or? Future. When you see that there are there were mistakes made, there was some sloppiness made last night, which I'm sure you, you would accept, despite the bad luck, when you had the game in your hands, and that, that was kind of an indication of what it used to be like before you came, and to an extent at the start of your regime. Yeah, it's it's the truth, huh? we have to face that, and um, but I can't tell only negatives about yesterday, but.
because we played quite good football uh, over a long time in the game. But also, yeah, you have to manage the game. And if you want to win trophies, uh, you you have to be smart. And uh, then you have to, st to stick to the plan and not uh, allowing an opponent to get back in the game and not heating them, them up or allow them, uh, to, like yesterday, to bring crosses in. And yeah, they have to be aware the game is over 90, 95, 96 minutes. And yes, we still have a way to go. Um, I'm fully aware of it. And the team has to know. And yeah, we need leaders in such moments. And uh, yeah, in many games, I've seen it, that we, we have that. We have that, uh, that passion and desire uh, uh, to bring tough games over the line. And yesterday, we didn't. And so I see that as a momentum, uh, but the team uh, have to learn from it, definitely. And yeah, we will, uh, we will give the team that idea. We will give the team um, our evaluation. And we have to talk about that, how we can avoid and how we have to avoid this in the future. Is, finally, on that, is, is there a time frame? At what stage do you think the job is complete in, in convincing them to, to go in your direction? Oh, I think they already do. They go in the direction we want. Eh? But uh, yesterday we had, uh, we dropped back. And yeah, that I know a, a team, uh, we are human beings. And we can make mistakes, and but we have to avoid it. And yeah, now certain players have to step up and uh, to take the team and to control the standards. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.